Welcome to my first unboxing video. I just received the Chidi X Max, their biggest printer yet. And I'm going to open up the box and take a look. The box itself is enormous, as you can see. It weighed 80 pounds. I gladly paid DHL driver 20 bucks to carry it in because it's a very rainy day and also because it's so heavy. So this thing is so enormous there's no way I'm going to be able to get it out of the box on the table here. I'm trying, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Thinking about cutting down the sides of the box because uh, there's no way there's no way that I'm ever shipping this thing back to China. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. This printer is not sold on Amazon yet. It's on the boat right now from China. It won't be in the States for another month. So I bought this and had it shipped directly from the Chidi factory in China. Starting out, we've got the uh, magnetic hot plate. Can't wait to use that. I already have a Chidi. <laughs> this is crazy doing it like this. Ethernet cord. Ethernet cord, huh? Ethernet cord? Ethernet cord. All right, let me see. How strong do I feel? Not that strong. Okay, it really is, it really is immensely heavy. So it's immense and heavy. So I'm just going to start taking it off in layers. So we've got free roll of filament, tool kit, I'll open that in a minute, power cord, and this and this are the um, spool roller. It holds two spools. It has one uh, one print head and it can only print one color but you can place two spools on the holder at once so you can uh, Okay, there's a lot of clearance inside the cardboard. My knife is not as sharp as it could be, but I'm going for it because I am not going to try to lift the printer out of the box. And some of you are probably grimacing and saying, oh my god, destroying the box when it just came in. But, like I said, this weighs 80 pounds. I paid 400 bucks to have it shipped here. But, in the long run, it'll actually save me money because, okay, when this printer goes on sale on Amazon, it is going to cost about, I was told, about $1,599. Uh, $1, and with shipping, I paid about fifteen hundred bucks. So I saved a hundred bucks and got it a month early. And I really am trying not to damage anything inside the cardboard because I've never actually cut the box off something like this before because. I never got anything this big before by uh, package delivery. All right, we're getting closer to seeing this printer. Now, once it, once I do get the box all separated, I guess I will have to. Oh, of course, it would be backwards. Uh, of course, I'll have to lift it up. Now. 
I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute while I lift it up because I don't want to embarrass myself. Okay, I'm back. That was a real workout. Having to take this out of the box and hoist it back up on the table. But as you can see, even without the box, it's still huge. So I'm gonna try to do this carefully so I don't cut anything. This printer, something new, you may have seen a lot of the newer 3D printers. Instead of using a, uh, a big snake-like bundle of uh, wires to the, to the uh, print head, they use flat ribbon cables now. All right, not sure how this is supposed to come out, but I'll take a guess that I need to move the print head. It's not moving, so it might be tied up somehow. But I know this has to come out to take the lid out. They give you, see in there, there already is a magnetic, uh, a magnetic uh, built plate, so. Uh, all right. Okay, this print head, I've never seen a print head that wouldn't move without power before. Uh, and this one absolutely will not move because I notice when I try to slide it, the, uh, and I hope my face is somewhat in the picture, when I try to slide the head over, I can see the, uh, the belts kind of buckling a little bit. So there's, the motors are locked and I can't, um, I can't move the head. So, oh, nice. Yeah, that one came out nice. This one doesn't want to come out nice. Oh, it can move forward. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Progress. So, here is the lid. It's got four magnets, one in each corner. It's completely enclosed. Voila. Now, I'm not going to finish putting this thing together right now. Uh, I'll do another video uh, when I finish setting it up. But I have to move it to another room because obviously I'm not going to set it up here on the dining room table. But that is it. Beautiful on-off switch on the front compared to the Chidi Tech 1 that I have that you got to reach around the back. They have really thought of a million improvements when they went from the Tech 1, which is, was my first Chidi printer, to this one. Now you can see Chidi still uses an 8 millimeter thick aluminum, solid aluminum heat bed. Here's the, uh, it must be taped down, but there's the uh, magnetic build plate so you can just pull it up, pry your pieces off. I've still got to remove some of this stuff, but before I go and do that, I'm going to do some reading because I don't want to just start ripping stuff apart and break something. Uh, so I'm just going to finish this video uh, by moving the camera a little bit closer and show you a little bit of the detail until I make another video. Chidi X Max. Chidi is spelled Q-I-D-I. You can look it up. Chidi has an enormous factory in China. I bought it right from the factory. I dealt with a wonderful factory rep named Laylee who took care of everything for me. And thank you, Laylee. Thank you, Chidi. Even though I did pay for this printer, I'm still thanking him because I didn't have to wait another month or so. And I really wanted to get a new large format printer. So here it is. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.